This is going to be a short video on SS Credit 4.2 Alternative Transportation, Bicycle Storage and Changing Rooms under LEED 2009 New Construction and Major Renovation. Quick summary of this credit, its intent is to reduce pollution and land development impacts from automobile use. It's worth one point and the requirements to meet this credit fall under two cases. Case one is for commercial or institutional projects and case two is for residential projects. Case 1, commercial or institutional projects, you've got to provide bicycle storage for 5% of building users measured at peak periods of the building. So in this example, we've got a building going for its LEED certification, and we need to provide bicycle storage for 5% of the building users. That bicycle storage needs to be within 200 yards of the building's main entrance. We also need to provide shower facilities within 200 yards of the building's main entrance and we need to provide that for 0.5 percent of the full-time equivalent occupants of the building. Under case 2 residential projects we simply need to provide covered storage for 15 percent of the building occupants. As you can see on the bottom left here we've got a covered storage, secure storage for the residential building in the top right going for its LEED certification. Quick review of this credit, it's worth one point Case 1 for commercial or institutional projects, we need to provide bike racks or some kind of secure storage that is within 200 yards of the main entrance, and that's got to be for 5% of the building users at peak periods. We need to provide showers 200 yards from the main entrance for 0.5% of the full-time equivalent occupants of the building. For Case 2 residential projects, we need to provide covered storage for 15% of the occupants. Hope you've enjoyed this short video. For more videos on LEED education, please visit us at www.leadforcontractors.com.